protect you from me. Congratulations, Minnesota. Within the course of two weeks, you managed to get marriage equality and to get rid of Michelle Bach. trip to Tijuana. Fuck yeah! We salute you! I understand that Marcus Bachman was so upset by the idea of two men spending an eternity together that he locked himself in a closet where he has been ever since. It is good to be here in Minnesota. Oh, be careful. No! Robert Smith. 
for Robert Smith is he's got a lovely wife, he's in a committed relationship, he is totally monogamous, and this is great, okay? Robert Smith is a great guy. This is, if you really like Robert Smith at the end of the story, let me tell you a little bit about the story though. I tweeted this out a couple months ago, and a good friend of mine, after I tweeted the whole thing, said, you are such an asshole. So I don't come out well. I myself have been married for 20 years, so at this point in the story, Robert Smith and I are both good guys, okay? But she says to me, I even found out the name Robert Smith stays under when he stays in hotels. And she tells me, and it sticks in my head, it gets filed away for the future. So, I say, we know where he is, and I say, hey, I know what name he stays in and he stays in under hotels. And somebody, maybe Bobby Shea, or we can blame him, he's not here, says, hey, do you want to meet Robert Smith? And the kid goes, yeah, yeah, sure, yeah, 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 yeah. So, we said, all right, get in the car. I get into the car, and we're driving him there, right? And this kid goes, oh my God, he's changed my life so much. I mean, he's everything I do. I mean, I love his lyrics. I, he's fascinating. I hope I don't kill him. I can't wait to meet him. I... You caught that line in there, right? Before, I can't wait to... I hope I don't kill him. We were drunk. We didn't hear that. All right, didn't register. So I get into this hotel, and I come in, and the woman at the desk goes, I know you're from somewhere. So I say, yeah, my name's Paul Westerberg. Because I've not gone down for this. And she goes, that's who I thought you were. Not making the show. So I go, listen, my friend Robert Smith is here under this name. So she goes, so she goes, oh yeah, here it is. I go, okay, so I take the kid to the elevator. I say, here's the room he's in. Good luck. I get back in the car, and we're all saying, this is great, the kid's gonna be his hero. We stop at a red light, everybody looks at each other and goes, I hope I don't kill him. Hotel, and it's our manager. He goes, Rodney, what did you do last night? And I'm thinking, probably a big list. I think I may have gotten married. I. It was a long night. He goes, um, Electra just called, and they, uh, they're not. They don't want to distribute your record because apparently, oh no, he's okay. Oh, I hate to see people fighting. Really, if you don't fight, I'll I, seriously. I'll come and no, it's all right. They're good. We'll get messed up. Just get along. And let me finish my story. It's a long ass story. I'll tell it right to you. Okay, so this is what happened. And you will love Robert Smith. The kid knocks on his door, I find out. Robert Smith opens the door. It's like three in the morning. There's this crazy kid. He invites him in. He gives him tickets to the show that night. He gives him guitar picks, but still the kid won't leave. So finally, Robert Smith has to call security. When security comes to get the kid, how'd you get up here? And the kid tells him who I am because Bobby Shayer stole him, told him. So, what did we learn? Robert Smith, good guy. Me, asshole. Spend, spend the rest of my life trying to make that, trying to bring the, I hope I don't kill him, kid, to Robert Smith's room. I hope to make it up to Robert Smith one day. Maybe you will. I can buy him something. What could you buy him? Probably buy him a car. What kind of car do you think he 